everyone. Welcome back to the show. Today is Thursday, April 28th. I'm your host, Ian Iverback, and thanks for joining us. Keeping with the Architect KHS Band Night theme for tomorrow, today our intro song was brought to you by KHS sophomore Carly Gias Coyo. Thank you. Carly takes music lessons at Architect. Nice job with your recording. As always, apologies for any tech issues. We do our best to work through them. Just an early reminder, with respect to the upcoming AP and parking exams, there will be no morning show starting this coming Monday, May 2nd through May, Friday, May 20th. If you have any announcements, please provide your announcement in the mail office yellow announcement folder for morning, afternoon, PA read. Again, there will be no morning show Monday, May 2nd through Friday, May 20th. We will return Monday, May 23rd. There are tons of announcements, so please listen carefully. Okay, let's get started. Attention, all current freshmen, sophomore, and junior students. Just a reminder, requests for changes for next year's courses must be made by the end of this week. Friday, April 29th is the deadline. Please see your counselor immediately. If you want to request a change in your courses, again, this Friday is a deadline for the change of courses for the next school year. Congratulations to this year's valedictorians, Jacqueline Sturr and celebratorian Elizabeth Harrington. Just an incredible accomplishment by the two of you. Each will now have the honor of addressing their senior class at graduation ceremonies in June. Attention all. On May 24th, Killon High School will sponsor and host its first annual inter intergenerational prom from 4 o'clock to 7 p.m. in our new gym. The intergenerational prom is a school-initiated outreach focused on integrating our senior community with our school community. Killon would like to provide a venue for our students to give back to a generation that has provided a lifelong support to the Killon School District. The theme for this year's prom is Welcome to Hollywood. Up to 200 senior citizens from Kinelon and the surrounding community are invited to enjoy a festive evening of dinner, dancing, and entertainment with Kinelon High School students, faculty, administration, and other dignitaries. The memorable occasion is made possible by generous donations from school and community organizations, as well as local merchants. FBLA, NHS, Student Council, Peer Leaders, Give Back Club, and any students interested in participating are cordially invited to attend our event and take part in the festivities. A sign-up sheet will be placed outside the old cafeteria during the lunch if you would like to assist with prom set up to attend the prom or clean up. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Ellington, Mrs. Sapio, or Ms. Scheiblin. Moving along, the next few announcements highlight several fundraisers. The Foreign Language Department is holding a fundraiser for those affected by Ecuador earthquake. Many families have lost their homes and family members. We would like to help the Ecuadorian community. Any monetary contributions would be helpful. Here is how we can help. The National Honor Spanish Society will be part of this fundraiser. Donation tables are set up in the school. A table is set up in the main entrance and there is a second table set up in the back of the school. Please help us raise money to help families in Ecuador that are now in need. Your help is greatly appreciated. We thank you all for your contributions in advance. Any questions, please contact Senora White or Senora Fusa. Attention all, the KHS Band Night at Architect Music is this Friday, April 29th. The event is sponsored by the freshman and junior classes as part of a joint fundraiser at Architect Music nearby at 1 Boot Nav in Butler. KHS student bands will be performing at 8 o'clock p.m. Tickets will be available for $10 at the door. Several acts will perform, and it is an excellent way to support your friends and enjoy a night of live music at an amazing local venue. All profits from tickets and refreshments will go to classes of 2017 and 2019. Changing gears, here are the school announcements. Attention, all student council members, all, again, all student council members. The field trip permission slip to Six Flags for the New Jersey ASC Spring Conference is now available by Student Council Bulletin Board and it was sent in the mail. All requirements are due by next Friday, May 6th. Check email for details. Any questions, please see Ms. Sapio. Attention, seniors. Again, seniors. Forms for senior class trip to Dorney Park can be found on the door outside the band room across from the library. Forms are due back to Mr. Stroud by Friday, May 13th. The trip will be held on Monday, June 13th. Again, senior field trip forms are on the band room door. All completed trip forms are due back Friday, May 13th. Attention all, the KHS talent show has been rescheduled 
Tuesday, June 14th at 7 p.m. in the KHS Auditorium. Students may sign up on the Student Council website. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Sapio. Another announcement for seniors. Attention, all seniors, the end is near. It is time to start organizing for your 2016 baccalaureate and evening of fun and entertainment led by you. Here is your first responsibility. Email your very favorite photos to Mrs. Nestor to, through email at nestork at kinelon.org or speak with senior students Vanessa Gorman and Rebecca Civil. Their email information is displayed in our graphic. Group photos of school events over the years are especially appreciated. Do it today. On to a few sports announcements. Attention, all athletes that are returning in the fall for next school year. The in-person registration for KHS Physicals begins next week on Monday, May 2nd in the, and ends next Friday, May 6th. You'll receive a flyer in PE and health classes this week with additional instructions. Complete your forms and bring them to the nurse's office and give Mrs. Smith in person for an appointment time. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Smith in the health office before May 6th. Athletic physicals will be held Tuesday evening, June 7th. All athletes can complete forms online under the high school athletics page. Please complete the forms. In recent sports news, nice job to the Kinelon girls softball with 4-2-1 victory over Booton High School. Senior Marissa Jacobia went 2-2 two two with two runs scored and an RBI to help the Colts to victory. Shout out to Kay Golf with a win over Morris Tech. The team remains undefeated in conference, improving their conference record to seven wins and zero losses. Nice job kill on baseball. They defeated Booton High School yesterday 3-2. Senior pitcher Will Stickle went six plus innings on the mound to earn his third win of the year. At the plate, sophomore Vinny Dinacola had two RBIs and, and the go-ahead hit the seventh inning. The team improved their record to six and nine. Shout out boys across for earning their fourth victory in a row. Senior Mikey Alfonte netted four goals and sophomore Joe Balai added three. The team continues to play Tuesday in their opening round county tournament against Mount Olive High School. Good luck to all our spring athletes, coaches, and teams. You can catch updates from activities, athletics, and news on our Twitter account at KHS underscore sports or at KHS, Kinelon HS or on the KHS district webpage. You can watch replays of the show on our KHS webpage, Colts news page, or YouTube. Just search for the Kinelon High School channel. Today's show is produced by Chris Hausler. Our video and graphic producer was Vanessa Gorman. Our director today was Jamie Lewitt, and our technical director was Chris Vargo. That's it for today. See you tomorrow.